Look at me now. You're scared of the truth but, again. But, hey. Look at it. It's no longer educational. It's no longer educational. You know, so the reason I always confront them with the same question. They have to acknowledge that in Torah Judaism, outsiders could come in. So assuming the Jews were specifically black, it really doesn't matter because on Mount Sinai, there stood a mixed multitude of peoples. And a few chapters later, they're all called Israel. So, and talking about Esau, I mean, it says that he married women of color. So eventually, even though they claim he was white, I'm not even sure where they get that from, uh, he, he wouldn't have ended up white in terms of his-, his the, the Torah says he was Edom, he was red, so- Right, right. He was... No, but they'll say that his skin was so white that it was transparent, thus, um, like he looked red. I'm just telling you what they say. The way you defeat black Hebrew Israelite theology is by standing on the notion that outsiders could come into Israel. I mean, even King David's great great grandmother was an outsider. She was a Moabitess. All right. So it doesn't matter what color your skin is. It doesn't matter if the original Hebrews were all Asian. You know, I guess they were Asian. The Middle East is Middle Asia. You know, but I mean, uh, like Japanese or Puerto Rican. Anyways, welcome, Jay. Hello. <laughs> I was listening um, 